I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign on him. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Now! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds.
Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on this. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? This. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office. Which... That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. A 
about a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Hmm, some kind of puzzle lock. Seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to- He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. <laughs> it's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. 